As part of Climate Week 2012's Campaign for a Sustainable Future, Nissan set out to turn people on to the low carbon benefits of electric vehicles. We shared a lift in the 100% electric Nissan LEAF with some familiar faces and supporters of Climate Week. Here's what Hugh Dennis had to say. Right, off we go. I really like driving. Um, <clears throat> and I spend quite a lot of time doing it because I live in the middle of nowhere now. So to get anywhere at all, I have to drive and then I feel quite guilty about it. I feel like I am single-handedly, me and Chinese power stations are destroying the world. Tell us what you're doing for um, Climate Week. What, in terms of personal hardship and devotion? <laughs> I kind of get upset by scepticism about climate change. I can understand that there is scepticism about climate change. But even if there is, and even if in years to come people go, oh, that's ridiculous, it was never man-made at all, what's the point of not doing something about it? Look at these fools driving petrol-driven cars. Why, why not change? Do you want diesel pumped in your face? It seems like a bit of a no-brainer to me, really. I wonder how much quieter the city would be, though, if no, none of the cars made a noise. What is most of the noise in the city? Is it traffic noise? Sirens. Sirens, but you have to have, there's no point in having a silent siren. <laughs> that really negates the whole point of a siren. <laughs> I decided I wanted to be in um, sprinty mode, look. That's a lot quicker than a petrol car would be over the same kind of distance, I think. They also give you this little dial here that tells you how you're driving. And I seem to be driving pretty well. You've got to get all white and then you're in the most economical mode. So what are you thinking of the car? It's quite relaxing to be in this car though, isn't it? Proper chilled car. Do you think you drive differently? If you can't make the car go, you wouldn't bother. <laughs> Coming up imminently, Nissan are going to be doing a thing called the big turn on. How can we get people turned on to electric cars? To electric cars? Well, I'm sort of, I am turned on to there being no emissions, certainly. You kind of need to emphasise the fact that there is really no difference between this and a normal car. The difference being that this one is cleaner and uh, better for the environment, but there aren't really any any ne gross negatives to it, other than the fact that you don't, um, you won't be going to the garage quite so much and buying Doritos. You'll find yourself slightly more distant from a Ginster's slice. And you have to plug your car in, which seems like an alien concept, but you have to plug everything else in. I mean, you'd never, you know, until 10 years ago, you didn't have to plug a phone in, did you? It just sat in the corner of the room. Yeah. Well, that was good. It feels exactly like you would expect a car to feel, which I suppose is the point.